Today on Comic Book Cafe, guys, we're going to be talking about and looking at Avengers 139. Now, this came out originally September 1975. And as you see from the cover, there's Thor on the cover, there's Iron Man, Beast, which people, you know, mostly remember him from x but he was in the Avengers for a lot during this time. And, of course, Hank Pie, which is, of course... Ant-Man, which is, of course, Giant Man, which is, of course, Yellow Jacket. He had several, several different names and different incarnations through his time in Marvel. And here is the villain known as Whirlwind. Again, I love I love some of these names that, like, these guys, you know, when you see his outfit, you know, he's a bad guy, but his outfit's what, what kills me more than actual his power. And, of course, here is Yellow Jacket's wife, of course, which, of course, is none other than the Wasp. And she's currently, you know, in critical condition. So here we go. Let's crack this book open and let's find out what goes on in this issue. So here we start off. We start off with basically the Avengers in the white, you know, in the hospital where Yellow Jacket's wife, again the Wasp, is lying there in critical condition, and he has Toad because uh, he had he had something to do with her getting hurt. Basically, tell him to fix her, and you know, and then we go to the next page where Toad basically goes, you know, I, you know. I know nothing, I can't do nothing, I don't care what you do to me, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Yellow Jack is raging, because, of course, it's his wife. And, uh, you know, eventually, you know, the Avengers try to hold him back, and the doctor's like, you know, we got to, I'm clearing the room, we need silence, this is a hospital. Please take, please take Toad away, basically. You know, the, the, the doctor basically goes, I should never let you guys into the first place. And, and he's like, you know. Because she's still in critical condition, you know. And, and at this point, Yellow Jacket's really upset. His wife is, you know, critical condition, almost dying. And Iron Man says something, you know, and, and he just snaps and hits, hits his arm, you know. And as all this is going on, all of a sudden, Whirlwind comes out of nowhere, shows up. And she says, all you want is Wasp. And then, uh, you know, the Avengers try to stop him. So there's a, a battle that ensues because of that. I'm trying to turn the page here. You know, here we go as all the Avengers fight him and try to stop him, when they, and they can at the time. And, you know, he's about to, you know, he's trying to grab her. You know, Yellow Jacket tries to stop him, and of course can't. But eventually Moon Dragon does get him to stop, and he flees. And they're all like, you know, you know, how, and it's funny what, what like, Thor says. He, and yet he don't ever return as he came at such times as he's least expected. These today, when you read this, it's like, wow, that doesn't make any sense. But at the time, at the time, it makes sense. You know, Yellow Jacket, he's just, he's just snapping, right? His, his, his wife is hurt, and he's snapping. He's just mad at everybody. He's just snapping, you know. And they, all, you know, at the very end, Iron Man makes a, a, something like, wow, and he founded the Avengers, kind of thing. And he's also dealing with the fact that when he shrinks into ant size, uh, he's got micro, what was it microbes in his bloodstream. That uh, that have tried to trap him ant size, and that it's painful when he transforms. So he's going through a lot of things right now. Not only the fact that his you know his wife is actually in serious condition, and could possibly again die. So we're getting to try to get to here. We go. So here we go. <clears throat> You know, Iron Man's just like, I guess he has to let it let it out somehow. And they're all just talking. And then Iron Man eventually goes, you know what? Uh, I'm worried about, you know, basically he's worried about Hawkeye. Hawkeye he left a while ago. Do, uh, to doc, trip on Doctor Doom's old time machine and he hasn't come back, so he wants to check it out. And Moon Dragon's kind of like on probation as an Avenger. She's not really a full-time Avenger. So Iron Man says, I'll take her. And Thor is basically like, I don't take orders from any, who, who said you're the, you're the boss kind of thing. And then here comes Yellow Jacket, and this is where you find out that his driver, who supposedly fired, is actually Whirlwind Man. And you know he talks about how he's been doing it for years, and how you know Yellow Hank hasn't figured out. He's, he thinks he's stupid. Let's see if I can turn the page. There we go. And you know, again, he's like, okay, well, he's gone, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna make him pay, I'm gonna take her, and it's gonna cost him more. But he didn't expect the more Avengers to be up here after he left, and you know, he, he like, and he basically makes an excuse because he wasn't expecting to be there. So here we are, Iron Man and Moon Dragon on their the, the, the Avenger jet, and here's where the comics are a little different than today. Iron Man actually hits on Moon Dragon, and I guess at this point, almost every Avenger had hit on her at one point or another, and she's like, you know, 
she's like basically you know why are all you guys want 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 for love and for compassion and I, even though i was born on earth i'm not an earth woman you know trying to make it clear and then there's a mysterious woman who all you know is is that she's after the beast and she says he won't escape her again and there goes my phone of course and then here we go you know yellow jacket looking at a picture of her and then he he, he has some he has some kind of uh a dream with war women where he like controls ants and you know eventually like stops him and he escapes it's a dream but it's not and then it's like partially memory partially dream and he realizes that world man knew what that gun was but he should have known because it was a top secret thing and that's where he starts putting some things together like okay how does he know this yeah who 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 is this guy and so basically you know he, he calls beast and tells him you know you know, gives him some, he needs an answer, and, and that's all you know about it. And then here we go back at, of course, the home of Dr. Doom, and they're trying to find Hawkeye. And then we get to Vision and Wanda, because, you know, throughout the series, they're love, they've been husband and wife. So they're here on this vacation thing, you know, basically nothing major happens. You know, just like he says, you know, if our love spawned a storm, what will our marriage do? And Wanda says, you know, wonders if all, that all together be a blessing. And then you see the guy's world one goes back to the to car, and, and Yellow Jacket's there, and Yellow Jacket has figured out that he's whirlwind. And so they have a fight, and he turns into Giant Man, and they fight some more. The you know, usual stuff. You're gonna pay for what you did. La 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 la. Yeah, try to turn the page here. Come on, page turn, full turn. Turn page, turn. Does not want to turn for me. It's being very not nice to me. There we go. Then they're fighting a woman. Man, it's like you can't stop me. And it giant man, he still can't get a hold of whirlwind. And they're still fighting, fighting some more. And eventually, you know, he's like, he's like, where'd he, where'd he go? And then uh, giant man turned into ant man, and he gets in his chest plate. You know. And I got to just decide one more time. I'm gonna turn the page one more time. If I can get it to turn, come on, Paige, be nice to me, Paige. Just doesn't want to turn right now. There we go. And so basically, you know, there they are. Uh, he he gets inside the chest plate and he, you know, he stings them. That's what Yellow Jacket can do. And as he stings them, you know, Woman Man's falling, and he is too because he's in pain from shrinking. Because he, again, the microbe thing, he's he's in pain from shrinking. And then Beast, you know, knocks him out. And Yellow Jacket's like, I I told you to stay away. And he was like, you know, sometimes it's not not bad to attend to an arch fiend. And that's the very end, you know, basically B says, you know, maybe we can kind of be friends now. And Yellow Jacket's thinking about all the pain he's been in and how he knows sooner or later doing what he just did, is gonna, he's going to pay for it. And sooner or later, uh, it's going to come back to haunt him. And basically at the very end, they say it haunts him soon. So again, a lot of going on in this issue. It was a simple issue of his wife's in the hospital and old enemy comes back, but there was a lot of layers to it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Campo Cafe. Uh, we'll be back again for another issue shortly.